Hi guys, thank you for watching Airopedia World videos. In this session, we will continue with our setting up of item master data, and this is the part B. We'll start with sales tab. If you know the purchasing tab, the sales tab is almost similar to the purchasing tab. The purchasing tab and the sales tab data contains the information that are necessary for using that item on the marketing documents. The sales data tab contains information on the item's sales unit of measure, sales item dimension, packaging for sales and other things as well. Similarly, the purchasing data tab contains information on the item's purchasing unit of measure but on everything that is related to purchasing of that item. Inventory tab. You can see that I have highlighted a couple of information here. You can use this tab to enter and view warehouse information for the item. When you select this checkbox, the following three column appears in the table for inventory data tab and you can define inventory level values for each warehouse respectively. That is your minimum inventory quantity, required inventory quantity and maximum inventory quantity. When you deselect this checkbox, the following three fields on the inventory data tab become editable and then you can define the inventory level values for all the warehouse in this company jointly that is required minimum and maximum then you have another option here that you can set your GL your general ledger accounts by warehouse item group or item level so all the GL accounts that you define at the warehouse level if you select this option will be in action. When you select item group then all the GL accounts that you are defined at the item group level will be taken into consideration. And when you define as item level any GL account that you have defined at this item level will be taken into consideration. Continuing with our planning tab. You can see that there is a planning method, procurement method, order interval and order multiples. We will see all this information one by one. If you select your planning method as MRP, the item can be planned by MRP. If you select as none, it will be skipped by the MRP. If your procurement method is make, the MRP generates production order recommendation for this item. But here you have to understand that all the parent items should be defined as make in order to calculate the requirements for their child items in MRP run. We will see MRP in much detail in our coming videos. When you select procurement method as buy, the MRP generates purchase order recommendation for this item. The order interval and the order multiple. Defining the order interval helps you to determine the frequency of the order. Basically the time interval between two different orders and defining the order multiple helps you determine the quantity of each order. That is your lot size. For an example to understand, if it is defined as 14, and the requirement is 20 then the MRP recommendation would display 28 as your order multiple continuing with our planning tab you can define your planning method as MRP none procurement method as make buy order interval can be weekly monthly or daily for an example order multiple can be 100 minimum order quantity can be 50 and lead time will be 10 days the lead time you can enter the number of days from when the item is ordered to when the item is received or produced minimum order quantity would be a value to define the minimum lot size in the inventory UM the last tab to understand the item master data is properties. The item properties helps you to add information about how an item fits in your company lines of business, sale territories and even marketing goals. You can use this tab to classify the items with up to 64 different properties which you can use for reporting, marketing purposes and even for determining pricing. A good example would be a particular laptop might be classified according to the types of user that can be professional, student, its condition can be new or refurbished 
and other properties such as screen size, processor brand, price range, system memory, touchscreen or not and other things.